Hey everybody, this is Michael Lee back with an update on the park fire. And I'm across the street from the Chico Airport now. The reason why I'm across the street from the Chico Airport is I wanted to show everybody some of the aircraft that's being used to fight the park fire. Uh, the Chico Airport's one of the main hubs for uh, fighting the park fire. I believe uh, Redding Airport and um, uh, not McClellan, but Beale, Beale Air Force Base is being used as well. If anybody knows of any other uh, airports that are being used, uh, let me know down in the comments. It's hard for me to keep up with everything. But I can hear another uh, helicopter preparing to take off right now from the airport. It's been uh, <clears throat> just a constant stream of airplanes and helicopters flying out to fight the park fire which it's like a military operation I mean it, it truly is something to behold and a lot of the people that work for Cal Fire or ex-military ex-air uh, force these people are heroes putting their lives on the line in order to keep people and their homes safe but there's these huge helicopters with these long ropes uh, with an orange like a vermilion uh, orange rubber bucket that uh, that they scoop up water with and then they fly to the fire and, and dump the water onto the fire and uh, it really is quite the operation I think this next helicopter that's gonna take off is gonna be one of those water helicopters uh, Cal Fire has also been using lots of the uh, fire retardant planes that are orange and white uh, they've been using those planes a lot to uh, uh, make a line of fire protection in front of people's homes up in the hills. Well, while I'm waiting for this helicopter to take off, I'll show you. So let's see, let me get my bearings here. There's Upper Bidwell Park, right there. So, basically right behind those that grove of uh, oaks right there. Uh, that's Upper Bidwell Park. There's a little canyon over there, and that's where the 42-year-old uh, arsonist lit his car on fire and pushed it down a gully into uh, Upper Bidwell Park. And that's how the park fire started, and that's why it's called the park fire. Unbelievable. But he's in uh, Butte County Jail. And uh, he's going to be there a while. What an idiot, right? Evil. Downright evil. But this is the type of, uh, of landscape that the fire started in. You can see it's just a bunch of dead grass. Three feet high. A bunch of dead brush you got oak woodland chaparral you know blue oaks buck brush you got the gray pine or foothill pine and it's just flammable as heck the fire return interval historically for the foothills of the sierra nevada and the cascades was four years so every four years the natural lightning strike fires would burn through but you can see this is why the fire just spread so rapidly. Dry, hot, windy conditions. And uh, this landscape is a, is a tinderbox. So, okay, here it goes. Oh, this is a big helicopter. It's got two props. This is a... Uh, what are those called? Chinook helicopters? Ah, uh, I can't remember. I think these are called Chinook helicopters. Wow, what a big helicopter oh man it's gonna come right over us everybody it's got some type of 
thing hanging down off the bottom of it. Oh, it's huge. Hose hanging off of it. I have no idea what this helicopter is used for as far as firefighting goes. If anybody knows, get down in the comments and let me know. I, I've, I've never, this is the first time in my life I've ever seen a helicopter like that. What the heck was that? Anyways, the fire return interval historically for the foothills and uh, Chaparral of the, of, the, of the Cascades and Sierra Nevada uh, in Northern California was two to four years. And it would lightning strike, it would burn through, or Native Americans would set it on purpose. And the, uh, the fire would just burn low intensity, low to the ground, uh, open the land up. Uh, the big healthy trees wouldn't burn. Their bark might get singed a little bit, but it's actually good for... Uh, big strong oaks to uh, to have a nice little low intensity fire burn around them actually makes them stronger and healthier and makes them pump out the acorns and uh, when you allow low intensity fire to burn on a regular basis it uh, it decreases the fuel loads it opens the land up makes it more fire resistant healthy and sustainable and uh, we got to find some way in the Western United States to reintroduce low intensity, safe, prescribed burns to the landscape. I mean, like, what are we going to do? Just allow every single forest in the Western United States to just completely burn to the ground before we change our land management policies? I mean, this is ridiculous. It's much cooler today and it's not as windy. I believe the high for today is 88 degrees and it actually got down to uh, 59 degrees last night which is <laughs> i mean that's great for this time of year and um that's going to help the firefighters a lot it's going to help tremendously we got this cooler weather and it's supposed to be relatively uh, cool tomorrow as well and uh the firefighters are working hard to fight the park fire. God bless these people, heroes. All right, I'll check back in with the next uh, aircraft action. 